Cartel de Jalisco Nueva Generacion, the CJNG, is one of the most dangerous criminal organizations in the world. Head of that cartel, Nemesio Cervantes, known as El Mencho. Well, agents say he's flooding the streets of Chicago with drugs. His name is El Mencho, a Mexican drug lord with a $10 million bounty on his head. <laughs> Nemesio Ruben Oseguera Cervantes, aka El Mencho, the leader and founder of the infamous cartel de Jalisco Nueva Generacion, CJNG, and the world's most wanted drug lord with bounties on his head both in Mexico and in the US. But what or who inspired an avocado farmer and ex-cop to commit such horrible acts and rule Mexico with blood and terror with his cartel? If you go on the dark web you will find countless videos uploaded by cartel members. Please don't look up these videos, watching them will cause you many sleepless nights and a trauma that you won't forget overnight. Nothing good will come from watching them, so once again, please don't search for them. These videos contains everything from torture, mutilation and much more horrible acts, all performed on living creatures, humans. Cartels uploads these videos as a message to their rivals, saying, this will happen to you and all your allies if you don't leave us alone, and they mean it. Anyone who's the enemy of a cartel, who steals or betrays a cartel, can easily end up in one of these horrible videos. One of the main creators of these shows is the Los Zetas. Los Zetas started out as a military group for the Mexican government, to help taking down the Knights Templar cartel, but the man in charge, was in fact, an even worse person than the enemy they were supposed to take down. After Osiel Cardenas Gillian took control of the Gulf Cartel in 1997, he found himself in a violent turf war. To keep his organization and leadership from rival drug cartels and from the Mexican army, Cardenas sought out Arturo Guzman de Sena, a retired army lieutenant. De Sena lured more than 30 deserters from the elite Grupo Aeromobile de Fuerzas Especiales GAFE, to become his personal bodyguards, and later, as his mercenary wing. These deserters were enticed with salaries much higher than what they were paid by the military. Some of these former GAFE members reportedly received training in commando and urban warfare from the Israeli and U.S. Special Forces. Once Guillen consolidated his power, he expanded the responsibilities of Los Zetas, which began to organize kidnappings, protection rackets, extortion, securing white powder supply, and trafficking routes known as plazas or zones, and executing its foes, often with extreme violence. However, in November 2002, De Sena was killed in a military action at a restaurant in Matamoros, Tamaulipas, and his deputy was captured the following year. Eriberto Lascano aka El Lasco or Z3 took over the leadership of the group. After Gillen was arrested and extradited to the US in 2007, the Zetas took a more active leadership role within the Gulf Cartel and their influence grew within the organization. They developed a reputation for violence and brutality. The group also broadened its role beyond protection and enforcement, extending its activities to smuggling people, kidnapping, extortion, and arms trafficking. They tortured victims, strung up bodies, and slaughtered indiscriminately. They preferred to take military-style control of territory, holding it through sheer force and exploiting its criminal opportunities. Although their military training was diluted over time, their brutality was not. Rival cartels struggling against the Zetas began to adopt some of their tactics, further ramping up violence in the country. Los Zetas became so powerful that they outnumbered and outclassed the Gulf Cartel in revenue, membership, and influence by 2010. This transformation was linked in part to the death or arrest of most of the group's original members. In response, they began to recruit more widely and, among others, brought in former Guatemalan Special Forces soldiers. The size of the Zetas remained uncertain, with estimates ranging from several dozen to several thousand. The uncertainty stemmed partly from Los Zetas' brand name, which became a byword for intimidation and encouraged a rash of imitators. In spite of its break with the Gulf Cartel, the operational capacity of Los Zetas remained impressive. 
They retained control of important trafficking routes along Mexico's east coast, resisting pressure from a host of rival crime syndicates. Los Zetas organization also has a significant presence in Guatemala, where it has used corrupt policemen as informants. The Zetas have set up camps to train recruits as well as corrupt ex-federal, state, and local police officers. In the early 2010s, analysts indicated that Los Zetas were the largest organized crime group in Mexico in terms of geographical presence, outnumbering all the other cartels. They are also active in several states in the U.S., including Texas. Early in 2012 it was reported that Los Zetas are operating in the northern Venezuela-Colombia border, and have teamed up with the Colombian outfit called Los Rastrojos. Together they control the drug trafficking routes in the Colombian La Guajira and the Venezuelan state of Zulia, Colombia as the producing country and Venezuela as the main port route toward the US and Europe. Los Zetas have caused terror throughout Mexico for the past two decades, but they also present a threat to all nations in the Western Hemisphere. As of 2017, 40% of Mexico's oil market is under the control of the Zetas. In the oil industry alone, the influence of Los Zetas has the potential to cause economic instability in every nation Mexico partners with, and many of these nations may not have the economy to be able to withstand this instability. So this was the brief story of the group that inspired El Mencho to be the man he is today. But what about those dark web videos I've talked about in the beginning of the video? They are going to be the topic of a future video, so stick around. And I would like to emphasize it once again. Please, for your own safety and mental wellness, don't look up any of these brutal videos on the dark web. Thank you for staying all the way to the end of the video. Please consider subscribing, liking and commenting to help me grow. See you until next time.